Since buying their bungalow seven years ago, Laura and Dave have not been seeing eye to eye. So when we first saw this house, we loved the mid-century modern style of it. We loved the proximity to downtown. We only had Grayson at the time, and we had plenty of room. Since then, we've had another child, Dinah. I can see that we need more space. We need a mudroom, an office space, a place for kids to play, and a guest room. I just don't think we can fit it all in this house. We'll see. We could sell this house, have enough money to buy exactly what works for our family. I really don't want to move. I like our house. I like to be able to walk Grace into school. If we move, I just don't think we'll be able to find the same thing. The room off the carport is our multi-purpose space, but it's too multi-purpose. It's our office. It's where guests stay. All right, turn it off. It's our mud room. It's our pantry. It's our music room. It has our kitty litter. It's got everything. It's just not working. It would be nice to have a proper mud room for all the shoes and kids stuff. What would be great is if we had a separate space for all of these things. But I think every house has its compromises. I know a house that you wouldn't have to compromise in, a new house. <laughs> <laughs> we just need more space for the kids. Their toys are all over the place, in the couch, in my office. I'd love a beautiful living room that doesn't include kids' toys, but we have plenty of space in the basement. The basement's been great for storage and for gym equipment, but that's it. There's no way we want our kids playing alone downstairs in the basement. I'm just hopeful that when it's finished, you'll change your mind. If we finish it, it's great for resale value. Once we finish the space and you see how great it is, I don't think you'll want to sell. Our laundry space right now, it's just a weird half bathroom in the basement. It's another one of those rooms that's just trying to do too many things. I would love a laundry room, ideally. I'm hoping that in the renovation, that that's something we can deal with. If you look into the master bath, I think you'll notice right away that it's too small for two people to use together. And the closet, it's just not enough space for us to share and get ready at the same time. So we get double sinks in the bathroom. I think it's doable. Floors in our kitchen and living room are driving me nuts. I'm just tired of fixing that floor. It's great that our kids can play hopscotch <laughs> over the cracks, but I prefer just not to have cracks. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> Why don't you give me the list to convince you that I can make this house work. One of the things that would be great to do is enlarge the master bath, create a guest bedroom, create an office for me, create a mudroom, improve the laundry room, redo the kitchen and living room floors. We need to create a bonus space. Finally, we'd like you to convert the carport into a garage. So hang on, you're asking me to create a garage, apart from it being quite expensive, the whole beauty of this mid-century home is the roof line. That will be gone but I'll look into it for you. Sounds good. OK, so what's my budget? $90,000. That money and that list do not work. So if I were to enlarge that master bathroom, I would have to go and take the space from your closet. No. I mean, you can't do that. Yeah. There's no way. So I just think we should just forget that completely. You do what you got to do. We are tired of being you know, cramped in by this house. You're not out of space. You have a basement. Yeah, I mean, I know you're counting on the basement. I think there's a lot that can be done there. <sighs> so, as I listen to you talk about the house, it sounds like you need something different than this. I don't think so. Um, I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is $345,000. Ooh, that's way low. Well, that would be mostly based on the fact that your basement is not finished. Yeah. What is your must-have list to get you out of this house? We'll need an open, updated kitchen and living area. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, an office space for Dave, a mud room, a bonus room for the kids. We'd also like a garage and close to downtown. <laughs> so good luck. I don't think you meant that, actually. <laughs> All right, so what is the budget for the new house? $500,000. I know that you guys want to be downtown, but it's going to be very tough. So is there any chance that we could increase that to closer to six? I think 600 is getting pretty out of range. I'd be willing to consider it, depending on the house. Well, listen, you guys talk about it. OK. And trust me, when I find the right house. Close to downtown? Close as I can get it. <laughs> and when I find that house, the only thing you say about this one is list it. You see, we're both very passionate about this. So you're going to have a hard time making a decision whichever way it goes. But I'm going to take that $90,000, and I am going to make this house work. And when I'm done, you're going to love it. I don't think so. We can go. You, know, you can go any time. <laughs> I'm not chaining you to staying here. So listen, I have a plan. I'm going to flip your work area 
from that wall to this side of the space, so it'll actually be a dedicated office. Yeah, that sounds good. Perfect, OK, let's get going. All right, the floors. What we're going to do is match out the existing hardwood here, refinish it all. That would be really nice. All right, so now we're heading down to the basement. All right, so... <laughs> Still looks like a basement. I know how you feel about basements, but I'm going to lay out for you what I plan to do. Fair enough. Here we go. Let's start with laundry. Then behind here, you're going to have a huge amount of storage, OK? Good. Now, the balance of this space is bonus area. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it could work OK. We also do bike trainer. Will there be a space for that, too? I don't see why we can't incorporate it into this. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the new guest room. I like that you have a vision, but this is not exactly what I had in mind. I was hoping for a main floor guest space for our parents. Well, there isn't anywhere to put your parents upstairs. You know your house as well as I know your house. There isn't any room. Right. And I know you can't visualize this the way I can, but really, it's, uh, it's going to be nice. So we were wondering if you figured out how much the garage is going to cost. Oh, yes. Barring anything going wrong, we're looking at at least $15,000. $15,000 is a lot. So we talked on the way over here about budget and if there was anything we would be willing to take off. And I think we decided together, right, that we could take the garage off the list. Yeah. Oh, that is great. I mean, apart from the fact that I could really use that money back into my budget, I'm just so happy because I think the house is going to look better. As the basement egress window is cut, framing, plumbing, and electrical go in, and the old stairs come out. Meanwhile, David tries to show Laura and Dave houses with beautiful dining spaces and everything else they need, where they need it. Are you guys familiar with this neighborhood at all? It has, you know, a nice shopping center and with a lot of restaurants nearby, so that's great. Beautiful corner lot. Look at the big backyard you've got. I'm feeling more comfortable here closer to downtown. <laughs> I am. Formal dining room area. We would absolutely use this. What do you think? Well, there's no bonus room in there. All right. Let's go. It's a beautiful house. It's, it's just incredible. It's just location. It would almost be worth driving out to this house. At this point, I'm not really ready to make a lot of compromises. I want to see what can happen at my house. With David coming up short, are things looking any better for Hillary? They really want to have their laundry moved to the main floor. So no more laundry room in the basement? I think I've got a really good idea of where the laundry can go. OK, so, look, can you just measure this for me? Sure. Ah. We have six feet. Great. What's my depth? 30. Yes. 30 inches. This next house for Laura and Dave is about 3,000 square feet. Four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, beautiful open concept main floor, 10 minutes from downtown. So are they going to be OK with that? I'm not sure. We'll find out. It's definitely not walkable. But yeah, we're really within the circle we gave you. You can't ask for a better looking garage. <laughs> Look forward to seeing it. Let's go. Looks good. It's a nice entry yeah, area. Looks great. Do we have a mud room here? Two car garage, which is pretty big. Yeah. I mean, even if you get two cars in, you still have a lot of space over here. I like to have sort of a little bit of a mud room. You're not going to sell me based on a garage, but you might Why sell Davey. <laughs> And then you have this. This is nice, yeah. like we asked for. And the countertops are nice. This is plenty of space Great. for us to have casual meals and then still have a dining area here, which is nice. I love the setup. Now, the living room space is not as big as our current living room, but I really love these glass doors. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I feel like you're talking about this main level as if it's really an upgrade of what you currently have. To be able to open up so easily into the outdoor space is really nice. I know you're going to get a great basement, but this would be like the oasis. Bedroom number one. Oh, this is nice. It's the smaller of the two kids' bedrooms. But for smaller, this is a good it's size. It's a good size. Yeah. Check out the closet, though. She has her own walk-in closet. What? She's a little Perfect. princessy already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the bathroom that the two kids are going to share. Nothing bad here. This is a very nice kids' bathroom. And Grayson would have Oh, his own wow. entrance. This is overkill for a bedroom. Come on, this is <laughs> awesome. What are you kidding me? Kids are going to be fighting over this for sure. What do you think this house is listed at? $585,000.
What do you think? I would say $600,000. This house is listed at $549,000. Whoa. Just squeaked it in there. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Yes. Here we go. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> looks different. Yeah, it looks great. It definitely looked like a different house. You know, I was so worried about two spaces, but I think we've been able to do two spaces. That is really nice. And then you've got this lovely seating area. Yeah, I love it. Now this is like the living room. We like it, yes? Absolutely. Yes. So you actually yeah. have brand new flooring throughout. Very oh, nice. nice. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this looks, whoa. To be able to walk in and have all this room to Hang everything up. They've got their little drawers. They've got a little place to sit and put their shoes on. Looks really nice. You've also got access right there. Take a peek. So That's the cat litter is here. hidden away. Yeah, that That's is really perfect. nice. I love that. You've got loads of storage, which works really well. Yeah. Considering that you now have laundry here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, very nice. And you remember that this was just shelves. It's now a designated laundry space. Hanging yeah. area. Yeah, looks great. So now you take a look at your new office. That looks awesome. That looks great. It's a good size. Yeah, having all this natural light, having the exposed brick, which we painted yeah, in, yeah. it makes it really have a presence as a specific room just for you. I couldn't ask for anything better with this. This is great. All right, love it. Let's keep going. Let's talk about the conundrum of the stairs. Yeah. That looks good. All you could think about was the fact that you used to have your table here. Yeah, such a relief. Way better this than is expected. Good. Yeah. You can actually settle back and spend some time sitting in those chairs. That's perfect, yeah. So, you now have. Oh, that's beautiful. I love oh, that. Yeah, that's like great. Like a walk in it's pantry. Huge. Here comes the big exciting adventure. There's all of this. Oh, wow. This looks great. This is huge, huh? Wow. Not at all like it was before. Yeah. This is a place to hang out with guests, with family. You can have play dates yeah. down here. Yeah. Storage, storage, storage. Storage behind you. Take a look. Wow. Ah, I thought this was storage. This is a nice surprise. Yeah. This looks great. You actually have the equivalent of a home gym. This is a great size for a gym. It's going to work out really well. Great. Yeah. There's more to see. Yeah. Wow, this a is nice. A legitimate bathroom. Yeah. This is a proper guest bathroom. This is great. You know, to make this floor work, this you, you needed this here, for sure. And last room is where your guests are going to sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, this yeah, looks like a real is... bedroom. Yeah, this is a proper guest room. You know, a non-blow-up mattress is a big uh, plus. <laughs> that is a big it's upgrade. It's a really lovely room. OK, so decision made. Decision made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> That house was incredible. Yeah, you really delivered. It was an amazing house. You know, we just realized we have everything that we want here now. Really, the main benefit we saw in the house that you showed us was the bedroom space. And I think we're willing to sacrifice for what we're getting here with our current neighborhood. The location is just not worth giving up. Listen, I, I completely understand it. She did an incredible job. 